Good morning, guys, uh, from Magdeburg. I am actually riding alone because we go to Chile and we have to therefore ship our truck uh, from Hamburg and uh, so you're gonna see in this video how we ship the truck to South America so this is exciting I'm having my morning coffee here at the Elbe in Magdeburg beautiful morning so I have about 300 kilometers left to go to Hamburg and there I'm gonna meet up uh, with Torben and Luciano and Klaus from Caravan Shippers. Yeah, and then they will tell me what to do next. So stay tuned, enjoy this video. See you when we see you. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living given for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Now you can see I found this one in the middle of nowhere, but it's a nice truck stop. So let's get some food on the way to Hamburg with a lot of other truckers. So I decided to drive the 700 kilometers from Regensburg to Hamburg to the harbor in two days. A couple of months ago, we decided to, to ship to Chile. We asked what possibilities we have. In the beginning, they told us to ship roll on, roll off directly from Hamburg, but the shipping company decided actually one week before we wanted to drive to Hamburg to not allow trucks fully equipped anymore. So no bikes, no clothes, no nothing you were allowed to bring. Obviously, in this case, uh, we said this is not possible because we live in our truck and we need our stuff with us. So Caravan Shippers was so nice to find another solution. And this solution in this case is called a flat track shipping. And you're going to see this in that video. It's shipping day. I just arrived in the harbor in Hamburg at the packing station. There you go, parked at the harbor. I'm gonna just quickly go over the last steps. So what you have to do to prepare the truck uh, for the shipping. You should uh, empty your water, which I took the last shower. I emptied the water tanks, both are on zero. Then all the tanks are clean. We put some liquids in to clean the tanks before so they cannot develop any bacteria. So electricity. I took the AC mode off to shut down the whole system. And in here, I prepared already, there's a big NATO button to turn off the whole electricity for the truck. So I'm gonna do that in a sec. I turned all the fuses off, at least the 230 ones. They're all off. All the main pumps are off. Uh, the lighting is my last thing what I'm gonna do. The router I'm gonna turn off now. And the roof vents checked closed are also off, heating is off, so it's time to push the big button. Everything is zero, we arrived at the harbor at the packing station, so I'm gonna do what I got told. First time I switch this off, maybe I need one, two, three seconds. There is no blue light anymore. Okay, idle goes away. I also Turn off this button, system is shut down. So the windows, also we take down the blinds. Last step, putting the hooks in, in order to save. So I did everything I could. And on the back, we put those. So they can tie down however they want. 
All righty, so this is it. Now, uh, Torben from Caravan Shippers, he's just coming with his own car. He picked me up, or we met. Then we went to an office where the people are uh, yeah, taking our truck and or putting the papers ready. So all I had to do, I had to tell them that it's my car and that's it. Sign a little paper and off we go. And here is Torben. Hi guys, we are here in the harbor with Torben from Caravan Shippers. Hi there. Thanks for being with us. And we are obviously in front of our truck and gonna ship it to Chile this time. But Torben, I guess he's gonna explain you the advantages, disadvantages of different shipping methods because yeah. I'm not a pro, but he's the expert and I take the chance to show you guys what's out there. Stay tuned. Maybe you can explain us why are we on this big flat rack and what possibilities do campers around the world have to ship their trucks, expedition vehicles or whatever? Yes, generally vehicles of that size will be shipped row row. This is uh, the common way where the motorhome will be driven on its own wheels inside of a big ferry boat so to say special times need special solutions and um, since we don't have uh, the, the opportunity to, to send our clients to every spot uh, in the world uh, on a row row basis we have the solution and this is what we see here are uh, to to ship it uh, on, a, on a 40 foot flat rack there is a third option where you can lift the motorhome on a platform inside of a vessel and uh, where it's been loaded between, I don't know, factory parts, containers and what, whatever. And the fourth option for, for vehicles that are much smaller, I'm talking about a maximum height of 2.55 meters, then we can load it inside a 40 foot uh, container where you can share it with another partner to, to decrease the, the costs a little bit. All in all, there is nothing that we cannot do. So whatever your uh, size your vehicle is, we can ship it to, to the place of your wish destination. So. Well, thank you, Torben, and. So I guess this is our baby. Whoever was wondering how a flat rate will work. This is a big machine that also goes to Chile probably. And one of those is reserved for us. Awesome. So this is our flat rack, it looks like. This time we decided for flat rack shipping, not roll on, roll off. Flat rack is an open container you drive on, then they're gonna secure the package and then it's gonna be lifted in a container boat on top, but inside. So we don't have water, we don't have anything splashing and it's fully insured so if the container should fall which we don't hope our life is gone but uh, it would be fully insured and the positive part is i can drive it on myself i can lock the truck and then until i pick it up at a station in chile which is not the harbor which is the company they take it out then you go there you do your aduana your zoll your customs and uh, then you drive it off again so that means there's no mistake driving the truck or whatever, whatever could happen on roll on roll off. Nobody can touch the truck because it's on a 20 meter on top of all the containers. No one can reach it during the shipping. In the end, once everything is packed on the flat rack, our expedition vehicle was tied down. And uh, yeah, then the surprise me, the big loader came. Um, please leave a comment and let me know the name of this because I forgot. And what they do, um, they have to weigh the vehicle and then it was a scary moment because obviously they're gonna lift the whole flat rack up and then they're gonna test how much it weighs put it in the papers and then they're gonna transport it uh, to the terminal and there it's gonna be parked until the boat comes and then the big machines come and lift it into the boat. So on the boat, uh, we got told that we're not gonna be parked outside. We're gonna be parked inside the boat. The container ship is gonna open. Our flat rack will be the last one that's gonna be inside. A 20 ton lid will close on the ship 
and then all the containers that you usually know from the container boats are going to be on top. So until uh, in Chile, we are arriving in Chile, our truck is safely inside. And if something happens, obviously we have an endurance. So there's several points on and off. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but I think whoever uh, drives his life around and spends a lot of money and time in his truck uh, can pay that to change for a continent because you usually you don't change continent for just four weeks at least we don't so we feel very comfortable about this uh way of shipping and can't wait to receive our truck in chile stay tuned thanks for watching see you when we see you